Jesse, what players did you pick? Yeah, I I was going to pick a Bama player, but then I thought people would get annoyed with me. So I went a little <laughs> bit uh, different. <laughs> I went against my first thought. Uh, my first one that I wanted to talk about was Jackson Dart, who is obviously the quarterback at Ole Miss. We talked in a previous show on how Ole Miss could really make a go through the SEC if they get the right players in place, if they really boost their defense. But Lane Kiffin has shown that he can be very competitive at Ole Miss. And with Jackson Dart coming back for you know a, a season that he didn't have to come back for, I think it's going to be really telling He's going to have to show a lot of leadership uh, at, at the quarterback position. He's already done pretty well, you know, from 2022 into 2023, making his interception percentage go down. He seems to be more decisive and like, he's not just thinking in the, in the moment and deciding to do something. He's going in there. He's making reads. He seems like he's grown and is being a, a more intelligent player. And I think for Ole Miss to actually make a splash in the sec we've got an expanded playoff we've got more teams in the conference we no longer have divisions they're really going to have to rely on jackson dart to lead this team uh to victory and i read an interesting stat so ole miss has not reached a conference title game since its advent in 1992 um they did share the win with the sec west champion uh win they should uh, sorry they did share a win of the SEC West Championship in 2003, uh, but they they didn't get to go to Atlanta um, because they lost the tiebreaker to mm. LSU. So their mm. last conference championship came in 1963 under head oh coach Johnny Vaught. So there's wow. there's been a little been bit a of a drought in in oxford and i think Yeesh. in order to to get past that they're gonna have to rely on jackson dart obviously they're gonna have to rely a lot on lane kiffin and making sure that defense gets going but a great defense is a good offense right so that's that's my first one there and then you mentioned rocket sanders um i kind of did a two for one in mine i said lenora sellers who was was named gosh probably earlier today, I think as, as the starting quarterback for South Carolina and there's some shoes to fill. We talked a lot about Spencer Rattler. He was kind of their guy and kind of the whole team for the most part in, in big situations. So with him gone, they're really going to need somebody to get this, this program moving forward because it seems like it's feast or famine in in South Carolina, it seems like they're beating teams and everyone's like, yeah, we can do this. And then all of a sudden it's like back to nothing. And I think in order to get this program moving forward, they're going to have to have leadership at quarterback, which seemed like something that Spencer Rattler was really pushing and, and really able to achieve. And I think Shane Beamer's going to have to have a, a standout performance from him to help his seat not get a little warm. And as you mentioned, Wes, there's a lot of guys vying for that job there. There are options at South Carolina. So in order to, to keep your, your starting position as QB one, you're really going to have to be a standout. Um, and it's his first year in the sec for, uh, for sellers. So it should be interesting to see how he comes in at, as uh, an sec quarterback, how he comes into a program that needs a boost and steps into shoes that are, Pretty big to fill with Spencer Rattler.